Welcome to African Teapot Podcast. My name is Exi and I'm your host. Journey with me through Africa's vast variety of culture, heritage, and discuss issues most African families face, both home and abroad. Make sure you add this podcast to your frequent podcast rotations and don't forget to share and follow this podcast. Hello, listeners, and thank you for tuning in to African Teapot. And I'm so excited to be here today. And I have someone special with me here today. But before I let them say hi and hello to you, just we are all just hoping that you had a wonderful week. You had a wonderful day. And we are all leading into the new week with positive vibes, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and let them introduce themselves. Hello, hello, everybody. My name's Lini. I'm Exe's sister. I'm Cameroonian as well. <laughs> you better be Cameroonian. You better. <laughs> I would be worried we if would I was be from worried somewhere else. If you're from somewhere else. <laughs> but you had a little proverb to share with our listeners today. I do. So when Edna kind of gave me a hint of the story, I thought a good proverb to go along with it would be stakes in a bundle are harder to break than stakes apart. And you definitely see how it ties into the story once we get into it. Actually, yes. So we do have a personal story today. Not personal like to us, mm-hmm. the sisters on here. <laughs> because one thing too is we decided to do this or I had her, I had to plead with her to do this. And I'm so glad that she accepted to do this because from the title, uh, African Family Tree, I thought I should do this with family. So have you on here. So I'm actually excited that you're Aww, on here. And I'm the I'm family happy. member you chose. I know. Beat that, that tells y'all I'm but, the favorite, guys. But we still love the other family members. Uh, uh. <laughs> we still do. <laughs> and then getting into our story, this story is real. Right, Lini? This, is, this mm-hmm. is like true story that is going on. And we want you guys to understand that people live this through this. People go through this. People have... Um, This would be mostly talking about extended family members, right? And the influences Mm -hmm. they have on like a family, like on a marriage. Mm -hmm. And this is real. There are so many people whose lives have been put apart or is in disarray or whose lives are accomplished as well from the interferences or the contributions of extended family members, right? So we'll just go ahead and jump into the story. It's heavy, but just take a listen. Try to follow along because it's a lot of parts to it. I'm going to try to share the story objectively as possible and do justice to the narration. Okay, so bear with me and follow me along. So there is this guy. He gets married and he has the first child. And they can't have another kid after the first child. So his mother, sisters and brothers uh, pressure him into taking a second wife. Who he has later on has two kids with. So in total, now he has three kids, right? The first kid with his first wife and then two other kids with the second wife that he got married to. And then something happens with the second marriage and she leaves, right? And then he continues or he proceeds to have three other kids with the first wife. Now, this second wife who had already separated and left the marriage got with another guy and had three other children. So just bear with me. So the second wife now has a total of five kids, two being with this guy and three being with another dude, right? With dude number X or however. So now here comes the, this, this is the twist in it. This wife who had already separated from the guy passes on, unfortunately, and she has five children left behind. And now this dad is, I would, You just judge for yourself. But pretty much the first wife is being pressured by the family to take care of her own children at this time, her personal kids, her own kids. She had a total of four kids, I believe, at this time. So she was under pressure to raise these four kids, raise the two kids from the other lady, including the three that this lady had with the other guy. So this pretty, pretty much gives her that's, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine children that she's being pressured by her husband's family to raise. 
So this woman says, no, she can't do this. Okay. She alone is trying to raise her children because her husband, I guess, is busy or not busy or he, you know, he's living the life where he's looking for, you know, the guys who want to marry more than one wife. So he's busy looking for the next wife. He's busy using money for his own, whatever his own achievements rather than necessarily looking at the kids. So this lady is doing like petty trading, uh, like has a provision store. Most Africans do know what that means, like a, a little shop. And that's what she uses to raise her children. Now, fast forward a couple of years, her kids are pretty grown. And we have this kid that is over here in the States and then her other siblings are back home. So this girl is from this, this woman, right? The lady with three kids, with four kids, sorry, the, his first wife. So the children are grown and one of them is out here in the States. The family is expecting this girl to help the uh, children from the other guy. Like those three kids from that second wife with another guy that has no, it's not, that is a lot, right? So they're expecting her to support and raise those children along with her mother. And so, so pretty much it's her mom and all of her siblings versus the rest of her dad's family and her dad. So her dad himself is expected, expecting her rather to raise her younger ones, including her stepbrothers and half brothers and sisters. Okay. You see? And at this point, hold on. And at this point, she uh she is already her mom raised one of the of her half sisters with another lady that he was not married to. Right? So there is a third hold lady on, that hold he's on, not married. Hold, hold on, Lini, wait one second. We're coming to it. I know. So there is another lady that he's not married to and he has a kid with, and they are raising this kid. So her mom is raising five kids, four being her biological children, one being their half-sister, and the mom is not complaining about that half-sister. She's raising, but they expect her to raise the other kids. So that is the story, and we'll just go ahead and break into the story, okay? Okay, Lini, I can see you over there twisting your head, turning your head left and right, twisting your neck and biting your lips. As I read through the story. So I'm just going to go ahead and ask you, what are your initial reactions to the story? I'm laughing, but it's it's a heavy story. I'm laughing, but it's heavy. It is a heavy story. What do you think? I mean, you, you kind of need to laugh to get through it. So I don't want to come out swinging or anything, but um, my culture, I, I'm Cameroonian. So again, I'm going to talk about Cameroon. So disclaimer, no, please don't come swinging at me. Polygamous families, we do. It's just a family, a husband, and like more than one wife. And right, this is legal. It is a legal yeah. process. It's not like it's illegal, or these kids are illegal or anything like no. that. No, yeah, it's legally binding, and your families that work together fine. Step Definitely. siblings are True. perfect, and they're strong. So it all goes with sticks in a bundle that's stronger together, and we mm-hmm. can see extended family. Cause I know you kind of. And then, I don't know if it was in the first video, but like, you know, the family's like pushing in there and trying to tell this guy how to run his home. And extended family is fine, but how far in is an extended family? Exactly. And I exactly. feel like he's married. First things first, my man, this man, how many wives? <laughs> are, like, okay, you get married the, the African first is time. coming out. The African is coming out. Sis, this man, <laughs> you get married and your second marriage breaks away right like it breaks apart and this woman is with some other dude but from what i hear this man had had a kid with another woman he wasn't married with yes that's another twist to the story that this woman was raising so kudos to that woman and to that family like kudos to the kids for loving and embracing each other because that's just the way like that's just the way they came together. Yes, actually. But yeah, um, you're right. the part I'm not seeing is why this woman, unfortunately, unfortunately, that passed away, right? She had these kids with another man, the other three kids. How did it even come back to this woman? That is, the, that is baffling. That, w- when I heard the story, when she told me, I, it, it took a minute, right? Just like you had that face for a long time before you could actually find words. To yeah. say to say what it is. Because when I listened to it, I thought, where are the men? Where are the guys in the story? 
because it's almost like the guys are present to give to the impregnate the, <laughs> the ladies and then when it comes to raising the ladies they are not there to raise the kids says i mean not Thank you. Thank you for catching that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for catching that. There is a lot going on in the head and the mouth just just isn't <laughs> correlating. But anyways, it is what are the fathers to these children doing? So, what, what, what is going on here? Because it's like they are absent and then the family members are stepping in to control the situation, to say what should be going on in the family. Yeah, That's what I feel. Like... The extended family berating this woman into raising these kids. From what I hear, this woman has already accepted on these kids. But if you can berate a woman to raise kids, which I'm not saying is wrong. Like, I'm not coming, swinging at... And again, please, disclaimer, it isn't a gender thing. I'm just saying, this other man who your wife passed and these are your kids... How are you helping raise these kids? I want to know, is he like giving money to raise these kids? Because it all sounds like this one kid that traveled off is being expected to do that. And let's be honest, honest from the bottom of your heart. If you can only send three kids to school, are you going to send your biological kids or send the other three kids? Because that's what people think you should do. Perfect. That, that was another question that came up. Like, is raising your children or prioritizing the education of your children and welfare of your child over somebody else's kid is that favoritism i mean favoritism is always there i favor my right hand over my left hand like <laughs> like guys like it's Leaning. like it, no because it's it's just the true nature of humans it's just the way we are but when we talk about this and we're talking about the african family tree i feel like this is a good example where these are diverse people from different families with a lot of arms and a lot of numbers that could come together to raise these kids these true. kids shouldn't be lacking like you have two dads who obviously three dads they have like, they have they have you have so many dads exactly in here. and you i have think uncles and aunts right and i think these extended family members i don't necessarily think that them coming in to have a say is wrong i know some people come chewing on me but if we can accept advice from friends then you can ex- you can accept advice from extended family members yeah and i think they should come in to hold these men accountable. Hold, everyone should be responsible for the action. If you are agreeing to have more than one wife, you should be capable of raising your kids. And the fact that the father is expecting his daughter or son to take, to take care of all the other kids that he has around the place, that is just unfair. What is he doing? What is he doing to bring his family together? What is he doing as the family head to uh, unite his families because I am thinking if you choose polygamy then you should be able to be you should have that gift in uniting people together as the father as the head of the family you should be able to unite your uh, wives and unite your children because I I have seen polygamous families that work and the father that's that's his duty that is what he he ought to do I feel like we're like Africans, when we talk about, let's say, so let me use the tree again. We, the guys, the the men are usually the makers of the family. The women are the nurturers. I want to ask, how are these men leading the family? How are these men? Because this man not in the story. seems He's like not. Oh, the family not. members are coming in. And when you put this story on Instagram and you ask, should extended relatives have a say in family matters this was a good response i think which was unbiased and it was depending in the situation i believe it can be both good and bad let's say some people grew up with extended family taking care of them instead of close family members then yeah it's appropriate because those are the people who were there for you and helped you oh so that's a comment yeah. off of the oh yes because we did uh pose that question on our instagram page guys and who who posted that comment and that's wing f- fashionista girl. Oh, okay. And that's on Instagram, right? Yeah. yeah. And I think I also had another one uh, from Trevor. And he said, if anyone is not adding value to my life, then he or she doesn't have an opinion on how I should live my life or make decisions for me. That is That true. is it. 
just like straight to the point you like, have the aunts who have like you're going to school you see them as you walk the street every single day and you have never been like hey hey mary do you need some water to drink and then <laughs> no all of a sudden you're gonna come up from somewhere sometime 10 years down the street and you're like eh my daughter because of this and that no i'm not disrespectful african we hold respect we hold our elders high but i'm like if you weren't there when it mattered to raise me do not come in 30 years down the street and try to be mom i'm like why who when how funke <laughs> like no <laughs> it's really funke <laughs> anyways let's see um let's let's try to look at this how this affected kids how this affected the kids like i believe this family can be strong like you know the one she raised as her own own like this family can be strong if these kids but once family members start accusing someone of favoritism i would tell you there's no way these kids yeah i'm putting the burden begin to sip in like yes i'm putting the burden on one person because yeah. you have three adults the mom right this mm-hmm. one mother existing which can be a mo- who can be a mother figure to all the kids mm-hmm. you have two dads but the two dads are not accountable but just the mother is being yeah, put under so pressure so i believe like this kid so these kids are lacking they grow up with and was like animosity towards each other like this hate in those kids like that's when you see when one kid doesn't talk to the next one in like in six or ten years and that's why because family members have gotten in there and they implant ideas that's when you let something from outside get into your family and implant their ideas and that's when the family falls apart y'all that's when True. you're broken and this also affects the marriage because when i spoke to uh this contributor the first thing i asked is how is the marriage between your you know the relationship between your mom and your dad and what do you think it is lini would you would, would you say it's it's fostering <laughs> that relationship as a woman definitely no, hell no. <laughs> and that was and that was the answer that was the answer that no the relationship is just bad and at the same time if we are also looking at how how extended family did the extended family do enough in the situation no i think they didn't play their role no they the did roles not. of extended family is advice and i don't think they advised anybody here rather they were just pressuring people on support no they didn't support anyone they supported in bringing down the lady i'm guessing and the kids and um how can this be handled better you would say Like, any any and, opinion on that and i feel that? like that goes back to the first thing that i asked like this man needs to take control of his family this man i'm sorry because yeah, they may not Both say men. Mm-hmm. this man this man needs to take control there needs to be better communication you can't have two dads and all this extended family and your kids are liking like no it's wrong if you could have these kids they deserve better communication is always key this man needs to take reins of his family take hold of his family let find the family members extended family that are there to help and hold on to them and let some that are not willing to help go true and the other dad i don't understand where he is in this situation but he needs Girl, to I don't get own it up either. like he needs to own up to this so anyways guys we are going to have this is this this topic just has a lot of information going on that we can't cover in one episode is there's just no way to it cuz a lot of africans face this and i'm glad that she brought up the story and i was so excited to actually share it with you guys but anyways we're going to end our topic or our episode for today at this point and juncture <laughs> right nini cuz yes. we are heated we can keep going on but we're going to put a pause to it and the next episode will just be a continuation on this because mm-hmm. extended family members also do have positive roles to play and they do uh-huh. they do have positive impacts on young lives so we're going to look at that in the following episode right so lini is still going to be here hey now that you have me kind of hard to get rid of me <laughs> i know that's what happens with family at least this family we can get rid of this family but thank you guys for tuning in and like i said you can always keep in touch with us on instagram at african teapot underscore no that's african underscore teapot oh my gosh watch me bonker that but african underscore teapot 
you can follow us on Instagram so that you can be a contributor and you can always give us your opinions, DM us, whatever it is, share your story, you can email your story, whatever it is. And we'll always try to make that part of our episode, right? Yeah. All right. I just know what are we going to say. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for having me. Mm-hmm. Thank you for listening and hope you join me for the next episode. You can always reach us via email at africanteapot at gmail.com and follow us on Instagram at, at african underscore teapot. Mm-hmm.